Okay, so I've already applied um, my two coats of Such Plus. It's just a um, regular old nail strengthener. Um, I like Nail Envy as well as um, Sally Hansen Hard as Nails. I mean, any clear base coat you want to use that you prefer will work fine. Now I'm going to be applying one to two. I might go with two depending on um, how it looks. I'm kind of on the fence of whether I want two coats or not. But anyways, <laughs> This is called Opalescent by French Tip Dip, and it's a really, really, really pretty um, kind of sheer coat, and it's just very sparkly. It has little, um, like, opal flakes in it, but really, you can use any um, sheer, shimmery top coat you want because it's totally um it doesn't matter it's not going to like affect the overall design if you use something different so i'm going to just apply a very thin coat and see how nice and sheer that is okay um you can almost not see it on the camera but trust me in person out in the sunlight I mean this looks amazing it just gives your your nails such a really pretty shimmer and I like wearing this alone just this by itself um, gives you a really great look okay so now <clears throat> that we've got um, our two coats of our shimmery kind of base color I'm gonna need a white because I want my scarlet and my gray to really stand out so having a white base coat as opposed to putting it on just your your nail um, is really gonna make it pop so I'm using bright white by French tip dip um, I like their white because it's a very um, nice consistency as you can see it's really nice and thin um, sometimes whites can be a little thick but whatever white you have is going to be perfectly fine and what we're going to do is we're going to create what's called a chevron tip and a chevron is just basically a v-shaped tip so it's really really easy to do you're just going to start over here and go up do the same on this side and go up okay and I need a little bit more on this side and then we're just gonna fill it in okay doesn't have to be super super perfect because we're going over it with other colors but Again, I'm going to start over here and go up, and then you're going to go over here and go up, and then just fill it in. Doesn't have to be super perfect, it can be streaky. And <clears throat> when you get some pooling over here, I like to take just a business card push it in and slide it and it kind of takes care of that and then all you gotta do is clean up what's on your skin but it doesn't pool down in there okay okay so I've completed my um, white portion now we're gonna get our gray on because you can't have OSU without your gray so if you can't find a gray polish you can take a white polish and just mix in a drop of black until you get the right shade of gray fortunately for me <laughs> I found um, this skull and gloss bones from the Pirates of the Caribbean um, collection from by OPI 
So if you can find skull and gloss bones, this is the perfect gray for Ohio State. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my gray and <clears throat> you're going to pick either side of your nail, okay? And for this one, I'm going to go on the right side, which I guess to you is the left side of my nail. Um, but for me, it's the right. <clears throat> and I'm going to take my gray. And this may take two coats. But I'm going to shoot for one and go along the first half of your chevron. Okay? Now, um, the reason I'm doing the gray first, even though this section right here is going to get covered up, is because it's going to be much easier to cover the gray with the red than the other way around. So. <clears throat> Work smarter, not harder. Hmm. So we're going to do that to all of our nails. Okay. Okay, so I actually did end up doing two coats of the gray. I found that the one coat was just a little too sheer, and this is actually perfect. So now we're going to move on to our red. And... OSU is scarlet and gray. I don't have um, a red that is quite deep enough, but this is a pretty deep red. And it has a little bit of shimmer to it, um, so this will work fine. And this is just OPI red. And what we're going to do is just like we did with the gray, only on the opposite side and we're going to cross over the gray and I don't know if you can hear the thunderstorm brewing outside which is why um, my lighting in here isn't that great it's very overcast so I'm going to take our red and I'm going to go right over our gray and again I'm going to take my little business card thing and get the pool of polish off. Now, <clears throat> this red is actually really good in terms of coverage. I don't usually have to apply two coats of this when I use it in this manner. If I was painting my nails with it, like all one color, I probably would do two coats. And try to make sure that you do cover up all of your white if you don't get all of your white covered, that's all right. Because we're going to be embellishing further. Okay, so we've got our red and our gray tips. They look really, really cute. But we're going to make them look even cuter. And I'm going to be using this um, nail art striper this silver glitter. Um, I got this from bornprettystore.com and there's a needle tip which I don't recommend for glitter because the glitter clogs the tip up really easily. Um, but it's I guess it's nice to have anyways. <clears throat> but then if you twist rather than pull you get a striper. So what I'm going to do is you can use any silver glitter. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'm going to go right along the bottom of the red and pull on a glitter line. And this is going to take two coats most glitters do and then we're also going to go along the bottom of our gray but we're not going to go all the way through we're going to stop at the red just like that okay 
Okay, so I actually ended up using um, three stripes of my glitter polish. If your glitter polish is more concentrated, um, you may only need one or two, but I wanted lots and lots of silver sparkle, so <clears throat> I used three. But that's okay. So when it dries, um, your glitter stripers can still have like a scratchy feel from the glitter. And that happens with most glitter polishes, not just the stripers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to seal it with a clear polish um, that's pretty thin um, so it'll dry fast. <clears throat> then I'll follow up with my Sech Vite. The finished look. So you've got your sparkly base coat and your scarlet and gray and then your glitter and it's just a really fun, cute way to support your team. <laughs> I hope you like this look and uh, please let me know what you think by rating, commenting, and subscribing. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day. Bye.